Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to write a note keeping app using text area control and a date picker control. The idea is to create an app where you can store notes for each day of the calendar. I'm going to create a package called notes this time and I'll start with a controller. As you know, we're going to be using date picker control and the text area control. Now I'm going to create an XML file, actually a XML file. This is the controller that we just created. I'm going to change the root to vertical box, change the spacing to 15. This is the distance between elements that are placed within this vertical box. I'm going to change the alignment to center. This is how the elements of this vertical box are going to be aligned. Next thing, I'm going to add a padding. This is just to make the user interface slightly more appealing. So this is going to create a padding around all the elements with the distance 15. Next thing is our date picker. We already have the effects ID, which is taken from this file. Then we're going to have a button. Call it update notes. And this is the button that will allow us to assign a particular note to a date. On action, we're going to call update notes. So we'll have to create that method in this file. Finally, we're going to add our text area. This should be it for the fxml file. We can now return to our controller and fill in the functionality. We'll create public void initialize method, which is going to be called automatically by the fxml loader when the controller has been instantiated. We will add listener for the value property so that whenever we change the value of the date picker to a new date, for example, then the text area, which is called notes, is going to be updated to contain the notes for that date. I'm going to rename those variables because we won't be needing them. The only um, variable that we're interested in is the date, the new date that we've selected, which means we now need to create some sort of mapping between the date and the note. So I'm going to create a map that maps the date to just some string. So we're going to use a relatively new API called local date. And this is going to return that particular date. So we can use this as a key. Notes, set text. So this refers to the text area data get date or return empty string. So get or default is a convenience method. It returns the value if there is a key called date, uh, this particular object. If there isn't such key, then an empty string will be returned. By default, picker doesn't have any value, so we're going to set 
value of today. Update notes is called whenever we press the button that we've declared here. And we're going to set the any text within the text area to our data. We're going to pick the date from the picker. And the text comes from the text area. Now what we want to do is to be able to save and load. So to save notes to a file and then load those notes from the file. So essentially, we only need to save this particular object. We're going to use object of the string in order to do that. And we're going to call our file notes.data. So we're creating a stream from the file that we've just created here. <coughs> this is the name of the file. And we're going to write this object to that file. We're going to use try with resources block. That means everything in there will be closed automatically. And just to be sure, we can add a new statement saying save. With load, we do something very similar. We're going to first obtain a reference to that file. and see if it exists. Because if it doesn't, there is no point in loading it. We're going to use object input stream this time, which is the opposite central. Catch any exceptions that may occur. This is a load this time. And we're going to read the object. So essentially, this is the same object that we're going to read back. And we're going to typecast it to map of local, local date and string, because we know the type, because we are the ones who saved the file or saved the data into that file. Again, we can just print load it just to make sure. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to add is application close because currently there is no save. So there's no automatic save that's happening. So this will allow us to first save our data to a file and then call platform exit to shut down the JavaFX platform, which means we have to intercept the window closing call. We'll do that in the application we haven't created yet. So notes app extends JavaFX application. And then the usual, we're first going to create a small loader. Now it's fxml. So this is the fxml file that we created, which is going to be loaded by this loader. We're going to load this vertical box and everything it contains into this root object. 
going to create a scene using this root object as the root node for the scene. We also need to remember to intercept the closing call. We can do that by consuming the event that was invoked on um, button click. So this is the X button on Windows. And when you click this, this will happen. So we're going to consume the call and we're going to use our own exit, which we can do using the controller. We'll also need to cast the controller to our own type and we'll call exit, which calls this, which in turn calls these two things. We also need to remember to load the data. When we initialize, we first load the data. If there is such file, if there isn't one, then we can't load anything. So first of all, let's save the file and see if it actually runs. That's not the app. This one is. So as you can see, we have our date picker, we have our button, and we have our text area. In the same order, they were defined or declared um, in this FXML file. So by default, there isn't anything in there. So we're going to write something like, hello world, this is my first note. I'm going to click update notes so that this is now remembered in this map but it is not yet stored on the file. You can now go to another date, say tomorrow, and I can add some notes. Students, Computer Science 101 at 11 o'clock. Then we've got a lecture for software engineer students. Second year at one o'clock. We can then update notes and close. So it now prints saved. So we can assume that this has been saved to a file, which we can now load. In fact, I could have left uncommented because we would have checked for the existence of the file. It says loaded, and we can see that the first note that I've written is now loaded into the text area. So if I go to Monday, I should see this, which has, um, which is what I've just typed. Okay, we can now close this, and it will save, although there haven't been any changes. Right, so in this tutorial, we've created a very simple notes app that allows us to save notes for each date. We've used the date picker control. We've used the text area control. And we've also used object input and um, output streams in order to write Java objects to file and then read from that file and essentially convert that back to a Java object. There are various extensions um, as in exercises that you can find in the video description, as well as the link to the source code. Thanks for watching.